Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Block Logic from Mike Astro. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, though, let's jump into the description. This is my entry for Dark Rosen's third mapping contest, which requires the mapper to introduce a concept of bootstrapping, and it has included turrets of some kind. This is the sole reason for the turrets near the exit. It's a bit of a cheap usage, but it was recommended to me to participate to keep the community alive, and so I did. As my initial intent was so just to remake the following two old maps, I didn't feel like reworking the entire thing to implement the turrets more interestingly. Laser Block version 2, which is very bad and is now almost unrecognizable, and Laser Logic, which was not so terrible but had way too much signage and some further nonsense. With the publishing of this map, these oldies have been kicked out of my collection. Still, the name of this map is a homage to the old puzzle. There is a fair chance that I will never release another bootstrapping map again. The reason for this is that I generally strongly dislike laser bootstrapping maps. I find it quite annoying that, I, that you can't just fiddle around a little bit, but I hope that you don't share my, sen my sentiment. Also, it's sin Sinterklaas today? What's Sinterklaas? Answers in the comments. Uh, difficulty, first room, 3 out of 10. Second room, 5 out of 10. Thanks to the usual suspects for playtesting. An additional shout out to Narcodes for a lot of design tips. All right. After a minute and a half, let's jump in. Okay, so... So what was the... Okay, so two things. Two things cause a cute respawn. Alright, I just had to kind of get that in my head. That was all. That one opens that. That's going to open that, but it's also going to close the exit. So I would assume, because of course it's always good to assume. I'll refire the bootstrap. Oh, it respawns both cubes, you little tinker. I hear soccer band music as well, as always, with Mike's um, maps. Soccer band being a Mike's creation, both the game and the music contained in the game. Go check it out if you haven't done already. I should really go back and finish those last couple of levels, but. Okay, that one's done that, that one's done that. Okay. So I should now be able to recall this. And... Ha. Huh. That is not the case. Okay, let's reload that save then, because... Uh, I have to reset all that let's reset that up again. We don't have to set that up again. Geez, not learn to speak. Okay. So in that case, maybe I was wrong to So maybe we actually need to independently... Okay. Hmm. 
maybe it's that we independently um, bootstrap this. But we would need to do that. Okay. Okay. So, let's take L Red Cubius. Respawn that. But then what do we do? Because we need a cube in here. I just realized as well. I didn't realize before. Got no portal gun in this one. We have no portal gun. So how do we get a cube into here? If I was to remove the red cube now, Maybe I did the right thing, but just bootstrapped it from the wrong place. Okay. So with that in mind, let me... Do this. The, the problem is, I don't think... I don't think that cube fizzles fast enough. It does not. So... What can I do differently? Oh, hold on. Maybe I'm... I, okay, I, I see what I need to do now. I need to do this to here instead. Then go through here. Maybe not. I gotta respawn this, but I gotta also have So if I'm going to respawn this, this cube has to be in here. This one has to keep everything ticking along. This is the 3 out of 10 room.
Oh. I didn't even contemplate that. That's... Ha, 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 ha. Okay. I can actually... Can reduce the the length of the bootstrap. Um, excuse me? So, it seemed like what happened there, <laughs> interestingly. Oh, I got sick. This is what Mike was saying in the description about why he doesn't like bootstrap puzzles. Um, Interesting what happened. I picked the cube up and the laser seemed to stay with the cube, which was mad. So now what I should be able to do is drop that there. And if I pick this up, yes, there we go. We got it. So yeah. Shortening the bootstrap was a big, big thing there. I don't know why I saved there, but Woo. Oh boy, we got a puddle gum. got here shall we just the initial cube that gives us a cube there exit is around this corner over here looks like we have turrets so we're gonna need to laser some turrets so we're gonna need a laser coming through here with one cube another cube here so that we can then aim them and get rid of the turrets it would seem surface in there. I didn't see that pole surface there. I did, but I didn't really pay much attention. Silly me. Oh, wait a second. This is, um... Totally missed the uh, starting point there. Uh, okay. Let's just start this entire map again.
Okay, you know what? We can just do it this way. This is fine. For now. Okay. From here. We can take this one across to here. Matters so much about portals now. We're gonna have to break the portal to um, get through here, aren't we? Geometry is gonna stop us from seeing that red one. So I think next up we need to do a cube swap because we really can't. Um, it's not feasible for us to maintain. The blue portal, uh, the blue cube, because the blue cube is the one that um, respawns more than the other one. So let's go ahead here and do the cube's shuffle. It's going to be interesting. That cube decides it's going to be a, it's going to be a ten ton Tessa. It doesn't want to move, which is interesting. I right, move from that side. I don't think, I don't know, I think there must be a different way to do this. Hold on. This is going through here, right? So. I could do this. In theory. Okay, things are looking good. Things are looking very good.
So, red cube first. Then I can bootstrap that. Did I just save? Please tell me I just saved. Getting the blue cube out, which is the um, the trick at the minute. All right, hopefully I saved. Hopefully I saved. I think I'm almost there, though. I think I'm almost there. I need to get the blue cube out without respawning it. Well, I didn't take that very well, did I? Maybe I have done this wrong, though. I think I have done I've got my cubes the wrong way around. I need to do it the other way around with the cubes. So... I actually need the red cube to be in there, because that's the one I can freely respawn, and the, I need the blue cube out. So, if we do... this but hold on wasn't the reason I did this was because, and it's not going to matter though, because once that's open, I can just come in here and take it through the portal, okay. I think. I think that's going to open up, do that, we take it through the portal, yep, yeah, okay. So this one opens up that for us. We walk out through the where the fizzler was before. Oh. Uh, Now I respawn the red cube. Just this one. Why, Mike? Why do you do this to me? No, hold on. Do this. I think I need to hit that from a different position. That's all I need to do. So let's bring both cubes into there. Next, that's not going to work either, is it?
I need to clear that. That's too low. So we can't hit that from there, which is why that sunk into the ground and that light strip's there. See, this is why I go back to what I did before, where I had the red cube over on that pedestal, that, li that little platform. Can I put a cube out there?
I'm thinking if I put one here, it would have to be the blue cube. Do that. Pick up the blue cube. Take it over here. So not to disturb the red cube when it respawns. Take that one away. Put that one there. Run back through here. Respawn the red cube here. Again, that would need to be the cubes would need to be the other way around but there's no there's no way to get the blue cube out is there whilst keeping a bootstrap Once again, we're back to this situation. But I could have respawned the blue cube to open that up and let me through there to swap the cube. So maybe it doesn't matter if I trap this one. All right, how, all right, big question. How can I get this out here? This would have to be doing something, though, that doesn't directly affect... Okay, so... Let's say... like okay I'll put that there okay now we can do this think about this. How are we going to do this? Put this on here. And we can walk out here. Maybe we swap them around. Mike, I feel your pain, man. Completely understand. Your frustrations with brute straps.
Right, so opens that up. We go through. No, because the blue, we have to be using blue to be able to take, to be able to benefit this. So that goes there. Then that goes onto there. We change. We do that to spawn that. This cube then goes to here. Okay. We then hit the other button. Okay, so for safety we're going to do this. We hit this one. That opens up that fizzler there. Then what do I do? I so desperately need this blue cube out of here. shoot the pole. Without the blue cube out of here though I don't see a way forward at the moment. Do you know what? Have I been massively... I oh know, that's the reason. I was just about to say, have I been massively overcomplicating this? But... No. Because, if I remember rightly... There's not enough time to get across to there.
wonder if I can be really cheeky there and pick up that, but uh, nope. That's not an option. Um. Problem is doing this. It's like it's all right, but it instantly kills everything because I have to re rebootstrap this. Which doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. So, missing a move. Not sure what it is. So, I need to go to the drawing board, I think. I need to have a bit more of a play around and try and look at this from a bigger picture. See what I am missing. See what I am able to do. Um... I'm still kind of convinced What well, am I kind of convinced? I'm still convinced the red cube has to be on the bottom to let me out that fizzler area, but I need the blue cube on the other side. If I can work out that, then the puzzle is solved. Um, just honestly and truthfully, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. So I've got to be able to I've got to be able to just get through there I just don't know how to do it one's still very much open to uh, 
interpretation. See, I can do this. This is fine. But getting that cube back. How do I get the blue cube out of there? I'm gonna to have to. I'm gonna to have to leave it. I'm out of time. I will come back to this. I'm gonna to have to give it some serious thought as to what it is I'm doing. Uh, we'll be back hopefully soon with the resolution to this puzzle. All right, guys, we are finally back. Finally, I'm not gonna lie. This there has been a three week gap between doing the first part of this map and doing the second. And I decided today was gonna to be the day I was gonna come back to it. I've just been playing for ten minutes and I've solved it. So, it was kind of, from what I remember from like the last the last part of the map, um, there was a big kind of part that I was convinced that the whole aspect of what I need to do was getting this cube out of that area. Uh, having this, this cube on that button and then being able to respawn this cube from outside. And that's pretty much what I did. So... Hopefully, I can remember what I just did in its entirety. Because, like I said, I did just solve this in about 10 minutes of um, doing bits and pieces. Which is quite um, interesting. But my sort of mentality behind solving this this time was to almost do a set of steps. And then I tried to reverse it by like and incorporate a cube swap in that reversal. And it seemed to work pretty well. So... What we're going to do first is use this over to here. I'm going to save regular as well because um, a couple of times when I was just playing around a moment ago, it was quite frustrating. With it being a bootstrap positive, if you make a wrong move, then you lose your cube positioning, and it's that really is frustrating. So we're going to put the red cube on there to open this up here. And now we can go back into here. Then what we're going to want to do is reposition this cube aiming at this it's all about obviously this map is all about keeping that laser active as I just said you lose that laser and uh, things don't go very well for you so next up we are going to swap red and blue so we'll take the red cube uh, sorry the blue cube up like so and then we are going to hopefully the catcher as we do and then we can take our red cube over here and of course what this does I put by putting this over here it kind of reduces the need to manage the laser uh, through the portals and things like so save often of course and then I got to this bit and I was like okay I, I don't generally don't know what to do from here but then I realized that I could actually see a portal surface from over the other side with the red cube. So that allows me to actually fizzle uh, my portals and recreate them all. Which is something I'd overlooked before. So if I can just get past this cube here. That cube needs to be in place there for going forwards. But yeah. So what I can actually do here is walk over to this area here. Because this is great. We can put a portal there and a portal here. This allows us to go back through to here. But what I forgot to do at the same time was pick up the red cube. We need the red cube now. So what the red cube will now allow us to do is open this fizzler. The blue cube is as we wanted it to be outside of the map. So we can now walk back through here. We can refire our portal onto here, and we can take away the blue cube. Recall the red cube. Just like that, we have done the map. I wouldn't really say over the last three weeks either, where I've kind of like had that hiatus for playing this map. I wouldn't really say that I am. Um, 
was really thinking about the solution too much either. I just kind of, this map kind of just jumped in here today, thought, right, I've got to get back to it, I've got to get this done, and um, yeah, managed to smash it out, I suppose you could say, in uh, a matter of minutes. So um, yeah, overall, very good map. Um, bootstraps aren't everybody's cup of tea, and it's understandable why, because they are quite fiddly in the fact that if you make one wrong move, then um, you basically lose uh, your laser, and then you have to go back and do a lot of setups. So bootstrap, the, the key to playing bootstrap maps is to save often. But um, overall, very good map. Um, especially the first the first area of the map where there was no portal gun as well. That really made me think. Um, but yeah, I had the right idea from there. It just it goes to prove though when you like stuck in a rut and you you have an idea of what you need to do but you just can't figure out how to do it. Taking a step away, having a break, coming back, you often see things so much clearly than when you sort of like everything's up here right in front of your face and you're trying to work it out there. But uh, thanks for the uh, map, Mike. Very good indeed. Guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match like to pay, please leave in the comments or head up to my Google form. My link to that is in the description. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.